Okay, we already had a really interesting exponential equation. This one was sent to me in the comments by PSP Andy. We have two to the x equals three x minus one dx. No, it's not an end integral. <laughs> we have just two to the x equals three x minus one, and we just need to solve this for x. And now a couple notes on this before I start. I wanna solve this using the Lambert W function. I just kind of find that to be an interesting way, but it's probably not the best way. If you want a fast way to do this, I think guess and check is probably the fastest, but you can just start plugging in some common values for x and you're gonna quickly get to the solution. I will tell you there's more than one solution, but they're still both pretty easy to find. And then also, I think there might be a way to solve this with just natural logs without using the Lambert W function. So I think there could be a few different better ways. I didn't look into any of that. My interest here is just kind of going through the Lambert W function. Okay, so to get started, my strategy for this is all about getting it into this form. So we need to rearrange this somehow where we have this x e to the x form, where of course we don't need it to be x exactly, but we need something in front of, but basically we need the same thing in the exponent and as the coefficient on e. Well, the first problem we have is there's no e in this problem, but what we can do, we don't really want two in the base here. So for two, I can write this as just e ln two, and then we've created our e. So doing it like that for the multiplying in the x and the exponent for the left side of the equation, we'll have e ln two times x. And then doing it like this, now we've got like no coefficient in front of the e looking at this. I can bring this to the other side of the equation. If I just divide by e ln two x, on both sides, if I divide by it on the left, we just end up with one over here. The right side is gonna become three x minus one e. Because we're dividing, we'll have the minus on the exponent now, so we'll have minus ln two x. And then maybe to make this easier to deal with, for minus ln two, I can bring that in the exponent, and we can write minus ln two as natural log one half. And so now we have basically this kind of form here, where we've got a coefficient, we've got an exponent on the e, but notice we've got different values here, right? So we just kind of need to do some manipulation so that we have the same value here and here. Well, the first thing I can do is kind of look at, we've got three X here, and then here we have ln one half X. To manipulate this, let's divide by three on both sides to kind of get rid of that three right there. So if I divide by three there, we get one third on the left. And then let's multiply both sides by ln one half, creating that ln one half, and then we have to do it on the left side as well. And now let me distribute this in here, distribute the three in here and clean it up and see what we have. So on the left, we have ln one half over three. Then this part, distributing that in, the threes are gonna cancel. We end up with ln one half times x, which is exactly our exponent, but we've got this other part, which is gonna end up being minus ln one half over three. Then doing it this way, now we've got a match here and here, but we really need the exponent here to match this whole coefficient. So I need to create this part right here. So in order to make this happen, I can multiply in e minus ln one half over three, because then we get the same base here. And when we put this together, we get the same exponent, but I need to multiply this thing on the left side as well. And there's not really enough space here. <laughs> so let me just rewrite the whole thing, combining the bases and plugging in this value here on the left. But now I think we have this perfectly set up for our Lambert W function. This value right here, we manipulated to be exactly the same as this stuff right here. This is not quite so clean, but we can come back and fix this later. So what I'm gonna do now is just take the Lambert W function on both sides, kind of plug it in right here. We have to do the same thing on the left. And so what's gonna happen on the right side of the equation is what's gonna pop out of this is just the X. So it's gonna be just this coefficient everything else is gonna go away. So let's clean it up and we'll see what we have left to do. Okay, now here I just flipped the equation over so we have our x value on the left side. And notice now we only have one x in our equation. So really, it's gonna be not too bad just to try to solve for this x value here. The first thing I can do is if I divide by ln 1 half on both sides, we can get rid of it on the left and we'll have ln 1 half over here. This is gonna cancel here and here. And then I can just add like a plus one third on both sides here. So doing that now we've isolated X and we've got, we still have kind of a pretty complicated expression here on the right. So it's gonna be one third plus all this Lambert W stuff. Now here we kind of have a solution, right? We've isolated X and we have this thing. So really this is a solution. 
It's just that it's kind of a mess. So how do we get this to be something we can relate to? How do we get this in kind of, how do we get like, so how do we get like a numeric value out of this, something that's gonna be a little more satisfying than this whole big mess right here? Well, I know two ways to deal with this. Now, first, what you can kind of do is, you could just calculate this. I mean, you're gonna need a calculator, right? Because it's gonna be still hard to calculate all this stuff inside here. But if you do this, everything inside the limit W function, this is something like minus 0 0.29. If you look at a very rough sketch of the Lambert W function, I hope, I hope I really, I hope I can remember how this works, but let me see if I can explain this. So like roughly it's going to be something, your Lambert W function curve is something like this. And the important point here, I think, is going to be when X is, this is going to be minus one over E, I believe, which is around minus 0 0.36, something like that. The key thing with minus 0 0.29 is it's going to be somewhere in this region, and we notice there's two intersection points. So knowing this is around minus 0 0.29, that tells me we're going to have two solutions for this, two solutions for the Lambert W, but also we're going to end up with two solutions for X. So then what you could do is you could use some kind of calculator. You could use like Wolfram Alpha. You could do this with a spreadsheet. You can get an estimate for this Lambert W value at minus 0 0.29, and then plugging everything together, you're going to estimate a value for X. But for this one, I think we can do a little better than that. We don't really need approximate solutions. We're able to get exact values for X and for the Lambert W here. So I think we can kind of put the graphic. So I think we can kind of put, so I think we can put, so I think we can put aside the graph and the calculator and try to get some exact solutions for this. So the thing I want to notice here is just look at how close this is to being set up to use Lambert W function again, because we almost have the same coefficient and the same exponent. It's just differing by a minus sign. And so what I think we can do is if we can just kind of manipulate this here, we can get it into this form and then we can get an exact X value out of this or an exact value for the Lambert W function. So what I want to do is just kind of rewrite this. Like I'm going to, let's put this as, I'm going to create this as one third natural log one half for the first part. And then with E and the natural log, we can put this back using the trick we did originally and write this. Like if we separate this out as E ln one half to the minus one third, E ln one half is just one half. So if we're com so coming down here, what I can do is write this as one half to the minus one third. Now, some of what I'm doing here is kind of cheating because I already know the answer. So this isn't that easy to do, but I'm doing it kind of with the solution in mind. So, so yeah, it's not that easy to do this. So just keep that in mind that it's not always going to be this intuitive. But what I'm going to do is if I multiply by a two here, now we have a two thirds in front, but I don't want to change it. So let's multiply by one half over here. Then here we have the same base. We have one half to the one, one half to the minus one third. Then this is going to become two thirds natural log one half, then this becomes one half to the two thirds. But then let's just take the one half and put it right back the way we had it here. So we have E ln one half times two thirds, and we have this in front. But now we have this exactly set up for our Lambert W function, same exponent, same coefficient. We can use this formula, right? Because this is all within the Lambert W. So coming back for X, we have our one third, but now we've reduced this whole thing to just the input. So this is now gonna be two thirds natural log one half over natural log one half. But then natural log one half, these are gonna cancel out. One third plus two thirds gives me a solution of just one. Coming back to our original problem, we can try it just to make sure it works. Plug in one, we're gonna end up with two on the left side. Plug in one here, we have three minus one. That works, so X equals one. But is this gonna be the only solution? Well, if you remember the graph we saw a little bit earlier, there has to be two solutions because there's two solutions for the Lambert W function. So let's see if we can get at the second solution just doing the same kind of thing here. So what we'll do is we'll do this again. We'll take this expression and manipulate it again, but a little bit differently. Instead of what I'm going to do here, instead of where we multiplied by two before, I'm going to multiply by eight or two cubed. So here we'll have eight thirds in front, natural log one half. Doing the same thing before, we can put this as one half to the minus one third. Now for this part, I multiplied it in eight, we don't wanna change it. So doing the same thing over here, one half cubed, that's gonna be the same thing as one over eight. So that's just multiplying by one. So then multiplying these together, what's gonna to happen is this becomes one half to the eight over three, but we'll do the same thing on this we did before, and put this back as E ln one half times the exponent eight over three, and we've got this other stuff in front. 
And so again, when we apply the Lambert W, this is inside the Lambert W, our coefficient exponents the same, so we come back and get our x values. So now we have x equals one third. This thing is gonna be just the input using our formula. So this is gonna become eight over three, natural log one half, and we still have this right here. Natural log one half, that's gonna cancel again, same way. Eight thirds plus one third equals nine thirds, or just three. So coming back to our problem, let's just check our solution. Let's see if x equals three works. I mean, it's gonna work, but let's just do it to feel good about it. So we'll plug in three, we get two cubed on the left side. Then here, we're gonna have three times three minus one. Two cubed is eight, nine minus one is eight. This looks good and we have our second solution. So there you go, we have two solutions for this, x equals one, x equals three. Like I mentioned in the beginning, guess and check is gonna be really quick. But I mean, who wants to do guess and check? That's not really any fun. And you can do it with natural logs, that's not as much fun either, but I am kind of curious. Let me know if you were able to do this just taking like natural log on both sides. I am thinking there's probably a good way to do this with just natural log, I just didn't have time to mess around with it. So interesting problem with Lambert W function. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.